Hi everybody, welcome to another unboxing. This time we have a special limited run games trading card booster box. This has five exclusive trading cards, whatever that means. But um, for those of you that don't know, limited run games um, distributes collector's edition, <laughs> bespoke collector's editions of various video games. Um, looks like they've all done over a thousand. And usually whenever you buy one, you'll get a uh, free trading card in the box generally tailored to the game that you get um i actually haven't gotten a video a card recently in one of my orders um maybe they're stopping it because they want people to buy their trading cards i previously opened up a um a hobby box that i will put in the link in the description below um but as you can see, this is a very cool looking box of cards. I think this was over $200. It is very pricey. Um, the cards are nice, but uh, yeah, I figured this is, I like video games, I like trading cards. So this is a perfect combination and a perfect video for my channel. So let's dive right in. All right, so that's right. It I forgot, it does come with a printing plate. That is, I think, part of why this uh, box is so expensive. And it is a SCAT printing plate. So that is interesting. Definitely not one of my more uh, favorite games, but it, it is a funny name game. I don't remember what SCAT means, you know, the, the acronym here. Um, but it is cool to get a printing plate. So it is one of one. So that's cool. Um, if you are a part of my channel, you will know that while I get rare sign cards and other various types of cards, relics and such, it is usually of a, uh, a celebrity or whatever that I don't really know or am a fan of. So it is absolutely appropriate that I get a super rare card of a game that I don't really uh, don't really have fond memories of. I think it's a fun game. I like shooters, so. All right, um, I forget how many packs are in here. I wanna say maybe there's 24 or so. I don't know, we'll find out together. So here's pack number one. Um, these have five cards per pack. I think the hobby box comes with a limited all gold, so I think there's gold bordered cards. I don't know if those are variants or not. Um, I hope not. Speaking of gold, I think we actually get one gold card per pack. Um, when I opened up the hobby box, um, every pack had a gold. So this is 316, too bad it's not Austin 316. Um, I'm not sure, so this is Shantae's Risky Revenge, Director's Cut. I don't know what the Relic Hunter Expo is. Was that a real thing or is that from the game? All right, next up we've got the Complex. I think that's a full motion video game if I'm not mistaken. Again, I got a shout out to the foil. Um, I love cards that have foil. Snuggle, Smuggle Craft, don't recall that one. They do a lot of indie, um, I don't, do they publish the games or they just, dis, dis, they just distribute them? I'm not sure, but uh, here's Double Dragon Neon. I definitely like the art from this series. I believe this is Genzomon. Uh, and I got Double Dragon and Kunio Kun. I actually got this card in the hobby box, so I got a dupe. All right, pack number two. These cards are nice. A little expensive, like I said, but I think it's because you get that printing plate. That's probably part of it. Printing plates are extre extremely rare in normal like uh, types of cards, like I think Garbage Pail Kids and stuff like that. Here's Double Dragon 4. The gold border. I don't know the gold border rules yet. Here's Chasm, I actually opened, this is a dupe I got. So that sucks, I'm getting dupes. And a lot of this pack, actually I kind of opened up a similar pack 
in the hobby box. So I'll just quickly go through this. That's what happens when you open cards, so. And Earth Knight. All right, pack number three. All right, so there are gold, so good old parallels. So there are gold foil parallels. You cannot escape trading card boxes and parallels. So that's kind of annoying. There's another Chasm. I'm not sure what series these are from. Definitely feels like they're in the like 100 to 300 or so range, I think. I have cards that are 400 and 500, so I don't know if they're in this booster box. Ooh, this is a scare. Plumbers don't wear ties. That was a, there's a 400. That was a uh, a Philips CDI video game, or FMV game, very weird. And a Shantae and the Pirates Curse fan bundle. I believe I got a, I think I have three of these cards now. All right, pack number four. I like the art. This box has cool sort of 80s, 90s sort of look to it. Here we go. Yeah, okay. So here's a uh, number 92, Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl. <laughs> nice Night Trap. Love the foil. Night Trap was a Sega CD. FMV game, very infamous. I think there was some Senate hearings about violence in video games. Here's another Smugglecraft card. And a Sam and Max Save the World card. I think I opened up one of those in the booster box, unfortunately. And a Takeover card. I think I got this in the booster box, or the hobby box as well. So I'm probably going to end up getting dupes from that box, aren't I? All right, number five. Here's a gold dragon, double dragon and Kunio Kun collection card. And a five dates card. Not sure what that one was all about. Clearly you're dating. <laughs> Here's a Demon's Tear card. That's really cool. I like that art. And another. Yeah. So a fourth version of this. And I got this one. This is the third version of this. I got two of them in my hobby box. All right. Pack number six. A lot of these Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawler Bundle cards. And another Chasm. And this Complex card again. And this one again. This one's new. RWBY. We know that from my Waifu Wednesday series. All right, pack number seven. I'm not sure there's any chase cards in these. Um, I think the gold foil variants are just the only different ones, at least in the normal packs. Here's an Infliction card. Another one of these date cards. It's crazy I'm getting dupes already. And this one again. There's a River City Girls card. Need to play that game. And another dupe of this one, Double Dragon Neon. All right, pack number eight. I am uh, not sure about these. The cards I like. I'm just not sure about the distribution here. This one's cool. Waifu, welcome to Waifu Wednesday. Shantae Half Genie Hero card. It's a gold variant one. Oh, I got it all. Okay, so there are all gold packs. I got an all gold pack. Double Dragon 4, I think I got that one ready. Here's a Maid of Skur. Creepy, must be a survival horror game. I don't know what this one is. I've gotten, this is the third one I've got. It doesn't have a, a label on it or a name. 
and a gold Saturday morning RPG. Cool aesthetic. All right, pack nine. This one again. And I got this one in my, this is a never ending nightmares. I got this in my hobby box. Another one of this Chasm card. Here we go, this is a new one. This is Saturday morning RPG, but a more like kind of Atari box art sort of style. And a regular silver version of this guy. All right, pack 10. That one again. Here's a new one, a Project Warlock card. This Chasm card seems like it's common. And this RWBY again. And speaking of RWBY, here's the definitive edition. Must be just like the logo. Moving right along, we've got pack number 11. I kind of wish this had more cards from earlier sets. Like I think there's cards that have, or later sets. Um, I think this is their first box of cards they released. So that one again. And I think I've gotten, this is the complex. I've gotten this one in my hobby box. I got this one in my hobby box. And these again, so. Number 12. When I buy expensive booster boxes from other series like James Bond or wrestling or something like that, usually I'll get, I won't get a lot of dupes. So this is a little disappointing, the price of this and the amount of dupes I'm getting. There's the gold variant of this. Here we go, what we got? We've got Neon City Riders. This Chasm thing again. <laughs> Plumbers don't wear ties, but he's wearing a tie, so I don't know. This was kind of, it wasn't softcore porn, but it definitely was kind of cheesecakey. And another Double Dragon and Kunio Kun. This, this is like the um, beat em up uh, booster box, it seems. All right, lucky 13. Gold Chasm, Night Trap again. Here's Ground Zero Texas. And another Saturday morning RPG. It looks kind of like a game in frame. And a River City Girls. This, looks, this one looks like a fun game. I need to, like I keep saying, I need to try it. All right, number 14. Looks like there might be 30 packs in here. This one again, and that one again, and that one, this one, and this one, so. Have I reached the, I'm just gonna start getting dupes type of deal here in my box. Number 15. That one again, this Chasm one, yep. Alrighty, 16. I'll just kind of look, yeah, all dupes. 17. Again, dupe land. 18. You know what? I guess if I had a video game store, I'd buy these and sell them for a lot of money to try to get some sort of recoup. Um, this one's new, Project Warlock. The breadth of video game series in this box is just kind of staggeringly low. Uh, 19, I believe. All right, this one's new. 
Super Mash. At least it's a new game. That's kind of cool. And dupes. <sighs> Alright, this is pack 20. There we go. Maybe I'm in the part of the box I'm gonna finally get some new cards. Bug Fables. I think that was like a bug RPG, if I'm not mistaken. Here's another Neon City Riders. Looks like a screenshot. And oops. I lied. <laughs> All right, 21. Oops, that one's a dupe. This one's new. We've got Earth Knight. And a Paper Beast card. And dupes. 22. I think I got that one ready. And a different Paper Beast one. And a, what is this? Super Daryl Deluxe. And looks like dupes. All right, 23. It's a new one, Made of Skur. Again, looks like a weird survival horror game. Here's Demon's Tear. I think I've, yeah, this is like a, I think like a little pixel art kind of game. And this one again, and these three again. All right, 24. And all dupes, 25. I gotta admit, I was actually really excited to do this, um, but I am actually very disappointed. I'll, wrap, I'll do my thoughts at the end. 26. Yeah, all dupes. This might be not a, a gold variant. 27. I think I knew going into this that it only had a subset of cards, but I guess I didn't ultimately really realize what that meant. Um, it's a gold version of that. I think this one's newer. Super Mash. This one's new, another five dates. Definitely refuse, creepy looking dude. And stoops. Twenty-eight. I am definitely losing track of of these. Yeah, all dupes. Twenty-nine. I think this is newer, but it's gold. I don't know that it's that new actually. And the rest are dupes. All right, thirty. It's a new one and that's perfect. <laughs> Basically, this is Freedom Finger. This is what this box of cards is doing to me. It's flicking me off. Oh, another new one, Super Daryl Deluxe. Okay, 31, must be 36 cards in here. Or 36 packs, sorry. Thirty-two, all dupes. Yep. 
That's a new one. Jane Silent Bob. Sort of a, I think this is like Double Dragon 2 for the NES. At least that art sort of looks like it. And dupes. 34. All right, that one's new. After Party. And dupes. Penultimate pack, 35. Another after party. And a simulacra. Sorry, I don't want to say that. And dupes. All right, final pack, 36. Oh, yay. What do I say? Um, This is cool. Not worth $200. Two, I want to say this was probably $250. I hope not. Um, I like limited run games. I am a huge video gamer all my life. I like collector's editions. There was a time in the 90s and early 2000s and even close to the 2010s when really Japan and Europe were only pl um, places that had special editions with neat stuff. Um, so I'll just get that out of the way and say that I like and appreciate what limited run games is doing. But if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, this was probably the worst booster box I've ever opened in my life. Um, just the amount of dupes and the amount of just like, the, like, there's just not enough distribution of cards. I feel like this set is maybe a hundred. I mean, obviously there's 500 plus cards in this, in, in the limited run trading card series. Nowhere on the box does it say, you know, what, um, series these, this has, um, I think online it did. Like I said, I think it said like series three or something. So maybe that's only like 100 through 400. I don't know, but for the price you pay for this, like who cares if you get a one out of one printing plate that it's not worth it really for the, for the cost. And I didn't even get a scat card. So I would say save your money if you like limited run games, buy the hobby box, it's cheaper. You get a good example of cards. Um, I'm I, I'm sorry to be negative, but I'm very disappointed in this. I, I If I'm gonna give this a rating just due to cost and the amount of dupes that I got, like what am I gonna do with all these? Um, Imagine if you like run a convention or you sell these packs individually, you know, people are gonna walk away happy buying a few packs of these. But if you're gonna offer a box of these on your website, um, at least make them, make like a special online version. Um, like the hobby box, like that's fine. That's what hobby boxes are for. They are, they're special hobby versions where generally you're gonna get Mm, you're never gonna get a full set, but you're gonna get a good wide range of cards and not a lot of dupes. So I would say limited run, if you're gonna do this again, like a version two or like a part two, I don't know, like I said, this doesn't tell you what cards are in, not, not necessarily what cards are in here, but what sets, you know, what series. Um, it doesn't even say like, hey, you're gonna get one gold variant per pack. Um, so I would say limited run, try harder next time, please. Like I said, I respect your company. I respect what I respect what you guys are doing for video games, but as a trading card box, this is a fail. So, um, you know, the, due to the quality of the cards, um, I would give this box, I'm gonna say a D. Um, you still fail the class but you got a little bit of points for the effort and the content. So uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, if you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. Um, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks everybody.